Welcome back to day seven. We've made it a week. I thank you so much for joining us on this journey as we study the Bible. We're talking about God's providence and human suffering, and we're going to keep talking about that for a little bit. Today, I want to talk about a man named Joseph. At a very young age, at the age of 17 to be specific, Joseph was given a vision by God, and you can read the story of Joseph starting from Genesis chapter um, 37. At that age of 17, Joseph was given a vision by God, and that vision showed him that he would be placed in a very high position. And this was higher as he was younger um, in, amongst his siblings. This vision showed that he would be higher than his brothers. And the Bible tells us in Genesis 37 that his brothers got very jealous. And out of their jealousy, the brothers sold Joseph as a slave and he was sold to the Egyptians and sold unto a man named Potipar. Now, Potipar was an officer of Pharaoh, so very high up, and he had multiple slaves, and Joseph became one of them. As we continue to read about Joseph, we learn that as he was at Potipar's house and doing his work, just as he was gaining promotion, Genesis 39 tells us that Potipar's wife made false accusations against Joseph, and this lands him a couple of years in prison wrongfully because he didn't do anything wrong but these accusations came from a high place and so he was thrown in jail for them throughout his entire life as we read joseph was faced with hardships and betrayals and rejection but i want to point out a few verses to you where it says in genesis chapter 37 verse 3 that joseph was loved later in genesis 39 verse 2 it says that the lord was with joseph And in Genesis 39, verse 3, it says that Joseph's master saw that the Lord was with Joseph. And it says that the Lord made all that Joseph did prosper. I do want us to remember, you know, as we read about Joseph, that Joseph never did anything wrong. It says that in the Bible that Joseph had the Lord with him at all times. And he always chose to do the right thing. And he always chose to do what God would want him to do. But sometimes we find that way in our lives as well, or we think that way in our lives too, right? Where even though everything is going wrong, you just feel, why is everything going wrong? Because I'm doing everything as best as I can. I'm doing everything right. But it just feels like at every turn, you're faced with rejection and you're faced with betrayal and you're faced with being let down by people you were counting on and you're faced with like people turning their back on you. And Joseph went through the same thing, just as we are today. But continuing the story of Joseph, there came a time when Joseph was 30. And he finally received that promotion that God had promised him. And we can read about this in Genesis chapter 41. Genesis chapter 1 verse, sorry, Genesis chapter 41 verse 40 tells us how, how much he was promoted. It says that he was just under Pharaoh. He had superseded Potipar's stance and he was just under Pharaoh. And as he was in this position, he continued to do what God wanted him to do. And he was able to save people from suffering and a famine. During this time where Joseph was promoted, um, it came to a time where he was faced with his brothers again. And when he met his brothers, the Bible says that they did not recognize him and they did not remember him, but Joseph recognized them right off the bat. And instead of lashing out on them, which he totally could have because he's in a position of power now, Joseph continued to do what God would have wanted him to do. And the Bible says in Genesis chapter 42, verse 9, Joseph remembered the dream and the vision that God had given to him. From Joseph's own mouth, In Genesis chapter 50, verse 20, Joseph testifies that all the evil that was bestowed upon him and done to him through the lives of other people was actually done so that God could make him a blessing and so that the lives of the people in his uh, country could be saved and life could be brought to the country so that they would not suffer through the famine. And similarly, in our own lives, if we apply this principle every day, to trust in God's provision, to never doubt his preservation, to know that he is all-powerful and almighty, 
if we remember the words of God that we should have peace and have um, cheer in our lives because he has overcome it all, then we know that no matter the hardships we face, even if they are at the hands of other people, God is going to turn them so that we can stand as a testimony for him and that our latter days will be more blessed than our former days. This is something that we should all remember to hold on to as we continue on. Even if people let you down, God will never let you down. I hope this has blessed you today and I hope to see you again tomorrow. May God bless you throughout this day.